I used to be a reporter with the Wichita Eagle and I covered Wichita's ethnic and diverse communities. And I really wanted to continue telling stories, but the industry changed. And so because the industry changed with uh, lower readership, a lot of journalists had to find new callings. And so I wanted to continue to provide professional communication services to communities of color. And so in 2013, I launched at that time a t-shirt company because that's what I could afford to launch which was called Miss Lady, and we celebrated empowered women. But I also became a client of the Kansas Small Business Development Center at Wichita State University. And through their coaching um, and their mentoring, I was able to realize that people were asking me to design T-shirts, but they also were asking about logo designs, business card designs. And so before my second anniversary, I was able to rebrand a CMO collective and open up services to do full-scale graphic design and communication services. So we help companies who recognize inclusion is an imperative in business. And there's a message that needs to be conceptualized all the way through how do we brand it, market it, uh, tell stories around it, to where do we place it? Um, on cups, on pins, on mugs, on websites, on billboards. My company can do all of those things. And because of the relationships that we have with additional partners, we're able to tell these stories digitally through video and also in Spanish because of our Spanish language connections as well. CML Collective is my for-profit business, but um, in 2015, I had the privilege of beginning the work that will lead to the founding of my nonprofit organization, which is Create Campaign. Create Campaign is a minority business development nonprofit here in Wichita, Kansas, with our whole mission now, because we have been able to grow, is to activate urban entrepreneurs in the Midwest to launch, innovate, and grow. We do coaching, mentoring, we have wonderful networking opportunities, and we've been able to have some incredible impact and success with our model of helping put business education, knowledge, technical assistance, and capital around entrepreneurs who, again, may not on paper appear to be anybody's entrepreneur, but are carrying something that just needs a little bit of support to get it to the next level of viability and functionality. I was able to go be a client at the Kansas Small Business Development Center because of my experience as a journalist, where you're used to exploring new environments. It doesn't necessarily present any challenges to you. You immerse yourself in different experiences. But I often found myself to be one of the youngest, uh, definitely the only minority, sometimes even depending on the classes that I took, the only uh, woman. When you don't have exposure, you don't necessarily have experience, and that can contribute to a lack of confidence to put yourself in spaces where you don't see yourself typically. But we have to do that. We have to look at the demographics of uh, Wichita and the state of Kansas. We're not always going to be the majorities in the room. That doesn't mean that we don't go access those rooms. We often hear in this country, and I really don't like the term personally, pull yourself up by your bull by your bootstraps. Um, as entrepreneurs, that idea of pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps, what that does is it inha inhibits, in some regard, our ability to really look at the value of connections, to look at the value of collaborations, to actually get out and talk about your business idea with others who may be mentors or coaches to help really invest and fulfill in that idea early on. We can't just go at it alone. When you're an entrepreneur and a business owner, you need a team of good people around you, professionals and others, to really help coach you to that next level. I think some of the most critical lessons that I've learned are that people with various backgrounds can be entrepreneurs if they carry certain personality traits, which include grit, resolve, ingenuity, creativity, um, that's coupled with business development skills, how to balance books, how to actually market and speak to clients so that you can grow your client base. Additionally, another lesson is that certification absolutely matters as well. There are some companies who do not wish to identify as being a woman-owned or minority-owned company because there tends to be a stigma amongst some that the services and the products of such companies may be inferior. That is absolutely not true. Being able to lean into certification helps open up a wide variety of uh, revenue generating opportunities by working on contracts that are more consistent than sometimes individual customer to customer transactions. My greatest entrepreneurial success. Sure. The fact that again, in my mind, sometimes I'm still a journalist and I've been able to piece together through, again, grid determination, all of these things, 
um, and surrounding myself with knowledge to put together a strong and viable company that was able to, amongst other amazing projects that I've been able to help clients with, I was able to help contribute to my dad's retirement so that he was able to retire from his career earlier than what was anticipated. That is significant for me and my family. But additionally, my greatest success besides my client base and being able to do that for my family is what has occurred with Create Campaign. Being able to um, start an organization with staying power that's been able to now cross the threshold of $1.2 million in micro lending to diverse entrepreneurs through our own micro loan fund and the funds that we have access to because we either helped write them or we serve as sponsoring entities and collaborators across these programs. It is phenomenal to see what capital combined with entrepreneurship education combined with technical assistance can do. And the fact that we have served more than 1,000 black and brown entrepreneurs who they're getting LLC structures, structurings the right way, and they're staying year over year in business. I think that my greatest misstep in my entrepreneurial journey was discounting my ability. Um, the path to entrepreneurship is filled with a lot of starts, stops, a lot of learning. And people say anybody can be an entrepreneur uh, I will say not everybody can or should be an entrepreneur, but it doesn't just look one way. And so I think that by just thinking of myself and what I just shared in my previous answer as just a journalist who's not supposed to be on this path, who found herself on this path, I think that discounted my ability early on to get to success more quickly. And success, like I said, being having uh, captured knowledge, like I know now <laughs> some business truths, having um, the ability to put myself in spaces where I didn't feel like I belonged, but that's where entrepreneurs go. All of that was very quiet when I first started, as maybe it should be, but I wish um, in terms of the misstep that I would have gotten more confident more quickly. And so for those who want to begin an entrepreneurial journey or a young person who's asking, um, and depending upon their responses, we do talk about, well, then tell us let me hear about your client. How do you plan to sell this product or this service? Um, what goes into making or creating this product or service? And at the end of the day, when all is said and done, let's say you've done everything the way you believe it needs to be done and you have put your all into it, what are you going to do if nobody purchases it? How are you going to have the motivation or what's going to inspire you to keep going until you get your sales? It's those conversations that unlock just a number of follow-on conversations that help people more clearly and more quickly, even young people, understand that what we're seeing around the entrepreneurship uh, community, what we're seeing on TikTok and social media about people having arrogance, about people must do business with me because I know how to do this or I have this product or this skill. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. It is about serving. It's about uh, getting clients who will support on an ongoing basis, the product and service that you're putting out and building a business of significance that impacts, again, the local economy, but also does well for your household.